Welcome. All right, so I thought I had more examples of problems like this, but I guess I don't, so I'll do this one. Um, so we want to solve this by using the square root method. And oh, I see what we can do. We can actually factor out a number in this case. So if I have this set equal to 0, you know, a lot of times whenever we're solving or factoring, we always want to see you know, how can we simplify our expression. Um, so in this case, I can see, well, I have a GCF um, between these two terms of 7. So I'm going to factor a 7 out. Therefore, I'm left with a 2 x squared minus 3. Now, you might be looking saying, OK, well, then what do I do with the 7? Well, it's 7 times this, right? If I was going to undo multiplying by 7, I can divide by 7 on both sides. Therefore, I have 0 equals 2x squared minus 3. And the importance of this, which you need to understand, is that 7, this 7 right here is not affecting our solutions. The solution for 2x squared minus 3 is going to be the exact same solutions for 14x squared minus 21. If you graph both of those, they're going to, be, they're going to have the exact same solutions. Um, or x-intercepts, as we'd call them. So anyways, now to solve, I can use my inverse operation. So I add 3 to both sides. So 3 equals 2x squared. Now I'll divide by 2 on both sides. So I have 3 halves equals x squared. And I love this one because I want them to go through a little bit of algebra. Um, a little bit of algebra, at least rationalize the number, even though you don't really have to. Because um, more than likely, we're going to try to approximate the answer. Well, anyways, if we're going to take the frat, um, if I was going to simplify the fraction a over b, that's going to be the square root of a divided by the square root of b, right? So I'm going to introduce the square root on both sides. And whenever I introduce the square root on both sides, I have to make sure I introduce the plus and the minus. Now, uh, the positive and the negative value of that number. Now, a lot of times for um, your class, you might just need to approximate that. So you'd plug in. Um, plus or minus the square root of 3 over the square root of 2, and leave it at that. However, you might need an exact answer. If you're going to need an exact answer, I'm going to go through at least a formal way that we could write it. So here, you can just plug in a calculator and get an approximate value. Or to get an exact answer, if I rewrite it as the square root of 3 over the square root of 2, um, the square root of 2 is a irrational number. So what we can do is I can square root or multiply by the square root of 2 on both sides, which is called rationalizing our denominator. Then I have the square root of 6 over 2 as my final answer. So I can rewrite that, or I can rewrite it as an exact answer of the square root of 6 over 2. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a quadratic by using um, the square root method. Thanks.